Hey, what is going on guys? Today we're taking a look at the first kit in Bandai's new Exploring Lab Nature educational line of plastic model kits. This is a color changing mammoth kit. It should be very interesting. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right guys, so we'll start off here taking a look at the box art for the Exploring Lab Nature Mammoth. There is the artwork, beautiful illustration there of the mammoth on the front, and then you got a photograph of the kit in its skeletal form there as well. The front of the box even features some information about the other stuff that you get included in here, like a book, there's what the skeleton looks like, all the pieces separated, how you can put it together, and then put it in the freezer, in the fridge to cool it down, and then it will be color changing to this brownish color like that. So take it back to the ice age, it says on there. Here's a look at the side of the box with the Bandai Hobby Site Kids logo there. On the bottom of the box, here's a look at the runners that we have included. As you can see, it's a pretty thin box. There's not gonna be a whole lot of stuff inside here, really. Just a quick demonstration of photos there showing how the kit is just easily snapped together. It does have a little bit of articulation there, it looks like. And then here's how it's gonna look in its chilled form and it looks like it's about 10 centimeters in height, so not too big. On the other side, it looks like it's just showing you how to build the mini field guide. So that'll be something that we have included on the inside of the box. Let's go ahead and get it popped open. Oh, it looks like in here, here is just our two runners. The kind of clear uh, color changing runner and this would be our skeleton runner. So we'll take a closer look at those here in just a second. Here's the instruction manual which is going to double as our field guide I guess. So I thought the field guide was going to be like a separate thing we have included but apparently it's just kind of all one thing. We're going to fold, we're going to cut and fold this in a way to turn it into our field guide. So we'll take a look at that. But anyway, here's just the instructions for putting the kit together. On the opposite side is like all the informational stuff which is all in Japanese and in English. So. Let's take a quick look at some of the pages here from this. Why did mammoths become extinct? You're just talking about some information compared to like different elephants, or where and when were mammoths found. So some photographs of some, there's that uh, mammoth that was like found in ice. When did mammoths appear and when did they become extinct? Some more nice illustration work there. What are the characteristics of the woolly mammoth's body? Um, this next part is a continuation of why did uh, mammoths become extinct? Here's a hypothesis one and then on the next page here is a hypothesis two and hypothesis three. So some different hypotheses as to why the mammoths became extinct and everything. So anyway, a lot of really great information there, which is cool. Here's a look at the runner A, which again is just our color changing runner. So it's in this like a white translucent color. And runner B is gonna be in this light beige color for all of the skeleton parts. I can definitely tell the skeleton is not as parts heavy as something like the imaginary skeleton Tyrannosaurus kit that came out from Bandai previously. So it's definitely more simple, but it does look like there's a good amount of detail and everything on there. Like there's the feet parts, for example. You can see all the little individual bones and everything in there. So looks pretty cool. And all right guys, after you have the kit put together, here's how it looks. Before you put it in the refrigerator, just with that translucent white around on the outside, and you just have the bone color of the tusks sticking out in the front. Not really gonna be all that impressive as it is just at the moment. I mean, it's just a fairly simple looking model on the outside, but you have some details in there just of like the fur and the eyes, but you can see like the lines around going on the parts. And it's kind of cool depending on your lighting around the model, how you can see the skeleton a little bit like through the translucent clear plastic on the outside. But just taking a closer look at this, you can see what I mean with like the lines here and especially on the top and bottom oh, with this, just basically the translucent parts just being a shell that just fits over the skeleton. Now the skeleton does have articulation, but as it is in this form, it's not doesn't really move or anything at all. But it is pretty easy to disassemble and take off all the parts like this. Now as just the skeleton, you can see a lot more of that detail there and I think it could definitely benefit if you were just to take like a brown Gundam marker or something like that and then just kind of color this in basically just to bring out all the details and just like give this a wipe down just so that you have a lot more definition in there. But as you can see, it is pretty nicely detailed. You have some joints here with the head just being on a ball joint there so you can kind of change the pose of that. The mouth opens up here. You can adjust the angle of the shoulders a little bit on a ball joint. You have a joint there, a joint 
here and then the foot is just on a small little ball joint there and it's the same thing with the back legs. I actually had my kids help me build this who are four and six so we didn't use any tools we just snapped all the parts off the runners and it was totally fine as you can see there'll be like little nub marks like this that you could maybe just like sand down if you really wanted to hide those. But definitely a very kid friendly build something that you can put together without the use of any tools and with pretty quickly it doesn't really take all that long to get this put together. So go ahead and get that all put back together and stuck in the refrigerator. Now you only have to leave it in for about 10 minutes or so. In the meantime, we can go ahead and just take a look at this guide here shortly. So once you cut the manual and just basically kind of refold it, it becomes a book here like this. So we took a look at this before, but just here's how it looks once it's just folded into like a book lift form here. So it is just really nice as just like an added little thing that you have in there that you can go over. But anyway guys, out of the fridge, here's how it looks once it turns brown. It is a really cool effect. It doesn't really last that long though. So I mean, once it's out and once it starts to warm back up again, unless you're like in a very cold environment, then it's definitely gonna change back to white pretty quickly. Usually it, it seems to me like now that I've tried it a couple of times, it takes about 10 minutes to turn brown and it takes about 10 minutes to turn back to white, just in like kind of a normal room temperature environment. So it won't stay brown for very long. The plastic definitely has to be quite cold. But anyway, really interesting interesting kit guys it's definitely great for educational purposes which is like the whole thing with this exploring lab nature line so i think it'll be interesting to see further kits in the future as far as like uh, a model for like model kit fans i don't know if i would really necessarily recommend it if you're just kind of in if you're kind of a normal viewer of my channel and you're just like building model kits and again if you have kids or if you are a kid or if you're a teacher or something and want something that you can do with your students i think this would be something really fun to do with kids definitely especially if they're into like like prehistoric animals and things like that and then the next kit coming out in the line is going to be the shark head which teaches about like the shark's teeth and stuff like that which should be pretty cool as well so definitely allows them to kind of flex their muscles a little bit as far as like what they're able to do creating model kits uh, with this just kind of added element of the kit being a tool for education as well so pretty wild what do you guys think about the kit let me know down in the comment section below are you planning on getting one or not if you're planning on checking out any of the model kits from bandai of course we carry all of those here at usa Gundam store. Check the link and the coupon code for you guys to use down in the video description below as always. And thank you guys so much for checking out the video today, liking the video, commenting, subscribing is all greatly appreciated. Until next time guys, have a great day. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.